Our next speaker, and let me uh, preface this with this remark. We are uh, trying to combine what we had planned for our youth with the uh, adult program. And so our next speaker was scheduled to speak to our youth during a workshop. His name is Michael E. Parker. He is the CEO and founder of You Are a CEO Incorporated. Michael. I would like to thank everyone here at the NAACP and all the distinguished guests. My message here is to the youth. And I would like to start with my own story and understanding a young man who went to over six different elementary schools and came through a broken home like many of our youth here today. I never forget riding uh, with my mom to a home for battered women and thinking about if I could ever be successful, there would ever be a way made for me. And somehow, through it all, I was able to rise above that situation, and I ended up uh, moving through school, getting my master's degree, hired by Toyota, ended up in Japan, handpicked to go there, and as I got to Japan, I fell to my knees because I knew who had made a way for me to be there. And as I was there in Japan, I thought that there was something more that I needed to do. And I broke away from the corporate world and I became an entrepreneur, which I've been for over 15 years, started about 10 different businesses. And the reason that I want to stand before you, and I'd like the ear and heart of all of our youth in the room, I came up with a concept and a principle and started a company called You Are a CEO. And the message is simple, that you have to be the CEO of yourself before you could ever be the CEO of your destiny. And you want to be an entrepreneur in a, starting a business or an entrepreneur in a corporation, but you first must be a selfpreneur and being able to understand how to guide and rise above any insecurity, any fear, whether mom was there or dad was there, whatever challenge came up, what came or whatever went, that you have something deep on the inside that says I've made an executive decision, that I'm going to move myself forward as a young man, as a young woman, and I'm going to create the success that I'm looking for. And so I invite uh, many of our youth, before you learn how to uh, balance a balance sheet to make sure your personal balance sheet is right. Uh, do you have people around you that are assets and not liabilities? Before you can ever have a profitable net income, make sure you first strive to be a profitable young woman and a profitable young man. And so uh, being able to understand that you are your brand, you represent how you, how you want people to respect you and understand you. And so we are starting a movement, a movement called You Are a CEO. And we want to inspire all of our young people and all those who care about our young people to understand that you run the business of you. And if we come together, we can start a movement that has no ceiling to what our young people can become. And so I would like to invite all of our youth to join in in understanding how to overcome their fears, their insecurities, their doubts, and whoever told you you weren't smart enough to understand that academia doesn't measure all the intelligences, that there's many ways to be smart. So it's not if you're smart, it's how you're smart. And this is what we invite you to understand. And so we want you to join us. Uh, we're creating some technologies that's going to change the world. We want you to get on the interest list, both young and old, on youareaceo.com and become a part of this movement. Now, having said that, I'd like to be very clear. As we move forward and we see all the challenges that we're faced with today, I want all of our youth in the room to understand that there are some, there's still some people like me. There's still some people like those in the room who believe you have the possibility to do and be whatever you want to be. There's still some men that appreciate seeing a young lady actually being a young lady. There's still some people who respect young men actually being young men. And so I leave you in the words of Dr. King, 
If it falls your lot to be a street sweeper, go on out and sweep streets like Beethoven composed music, like Michelangelo painted pictures, and like Shakespeare wrote poetry. Sweep streets so well that if you died, they would have to live in the dead and the unborn would have to say that there was no one that could sweep streets better than you did. And so when you remember that, he went on to say, if you can't be a pine on the top of the hill, just be a shrub in the valley, but be the best little shrub on the side of the rill. Be a bush if you can't be a tree. If you can't be a highway, just be a trail. If you can't be the sun, be a star. Because it's not by size that we win or we fail. Be the best at whatever you are. And so I leave that with you, young men and young women. You are a CEO. You run the business of you, and you can go as far as you want to go, but it starts with understanding anything that happened in the past is in the past, and everything in front of you is up to you. Be the CEO of your future. Be the CEO of your destiny. Be the CEO of your career. Be the CEO of being an entrepreneur, and be the CEO of everything in front of you so that you can truly be a young man and a young woman that represents the advancement of colored people. May God bless you. My name is Michael E. Parker. All right, that got you fired up. <laughs>